Meet you, hey, okay? Going, Be right back. Yeah, sure. Pleasure to meet you. We're on in a second. Beautiful. You guys will sit right here. One, Gen Two. Come on in. All righty. You got a nice setup here. Nice. Look at all your uh, super TVs and the, the painting frame and everything. You like it? 7.58 at the MJ Morning Show, 6.58 Central Time. We're live in St. Louis this morning because of the big MJ Payday, the contest. Uh, where's Froggy? Is he back on mic five now? Yeah, I'm right there, here. There he is. He's, he's, behind, he's behind me now. He's using Joey B's mic. Cause I, got, I got Dustin Diamond and uh, his uh, girlfriend Jen over on Froggy's mic position. Froggy, I'm going to give you the opportunity now of a lifetime. You realize, is this surreal for you, man? Is this... What's well, surreal? Well, Dustin Diamond is... I mean, he's cool. I mean... He's not going to sing oh, the theme you, song, you, is he? You getting shy all of a sudden? He's not going to sing the theme song, is he? Oh, yes. No. All right. Oh, he, yeah. he, I'm not going to sing it. He knows it by heart, and in fact... <laughs> In fact, when I bring the audio down... Who doesn't know? Yeah, if I bring the audio of the song down for 10 seconds and then I bring it up, he's still right on, right on but track. But who does it? I mean, everybody I, knows I, the song. I, I couldn't sing well, the whole song. You know, you're not a fan. Uh, I know there's a bell in the song, right? Now, nah, I don't think I want he's to. saying now that I don't want to do it. The minute we hit it, he'll just no, snap, like snap right into Here's that character. Bell. That's like, not going like to happen. Pavlov's dog. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to sing. Flunky, you might as well ready? not even Ready, hit. Ready, Flunky? Yeah, let's You see. might as well not even hit it because I'm right. not going to sing. The whole thing. I'm not going to do it. When I wake up in the morning and alarm gets out of warning, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. By the time I get my books and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just inside to see the bus fly by. It's all right because I see by the bell. Yeah! If the teacher pops a test, I know I'm in a mess And my dog had all my homework last night Pretty good Riding on my chair, she won't know that I'm there If I can hand it in tomorrow, it'll be alright It's alright, cause I'm saved by the bell Give me some tasty licks on that guitar, biatch <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> now, he, now he's doing the air guitar <laughs> It's alright, cause I'm saved by the. It's alright, cause I'm saved by the. Cause I'm saved by the bell. He was getting. He was getting soulful like he was singing Pantera. He passed out. Oh, he's hyperventilating. He's on the ground. Oh. Does anyone know the uh, Corey Feldman theme song? <laughs> well, the falling on the ground would fit. <laughs> he like, flung his head back, he threw the microphone like he's a rock star, and now he's passed out on the floor. He started stage diving. I wasn't a stage. Right. Are you alright? Oh, my, my ass fell on something real pointy back here. Are you alright? I'm really hurt. Oh, good. Corn. All right, now. Oh, corn. I get carried away. Alright, Justin Diamond, welcome walking to the studio. How man. are you? We've been talking now since. When did the whole t shirt uh, house deal arise? June 12th right. is when we uh, we aired this to the public. We talked to you, I think, the day after you launched the thing, or two yes. days after you launched yeah. it. Let's bring it current to what's going on. So, uh, you have the house deal, and yeah. you've sold, what, 17,000, 18,000 t-shirts? Yeah, yeah. And that's still pretty decent money. Yeah, close to 20,000. Now, uh, we've heard more about you in the last two months than we've heard about you, I think, even when you were on Saved by the Bell. Yes. And uh, now, the next phase here is this revelation of this porno tape and we've talked to you I think two or three times already on the air and I, you know, I still I, I don't know if I have a handle on the whole story because I have your claims and I have claims of the individual that claims to be in possession of the tape I have some inside Hollywood gossip claims where you know, they're stating something uh, you've said all along that this tape was released without your consent or knowledge. You still stand by that? I don't know how long it's been out because this this happened. I've I remember when it was shot. I mean, I, I was the one who did it, and uh, where, it was where was it shot? I can't mention. It was I was on the road. All right. Well, it was described, and we have the audio bite of this David Hahn Schmidt. And do you have any words to say about David Hahn Schmidt? Not at this moment. No, I don't want to give him. You know, any kind of we're, we're our people are talking with his people right now, and because it's in in legal talks i can't really go into too much yeah but your but, your girlfriend told us that you're doing this against the advice of your lawyers well yeah they don't want me talking they, on the air about it i mean when it's court stuff they say don't do any press about it in fact i want to point out that you should realize you're you guys are the only press that i'm i'm doing 
I mean, really, I mean, I, I've I've spoken with, with, uh, you know, basically said no comment to a lot of different places. But right. you guys have actual access to call us up, and we you know, always take your calls and go on the air. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not doing that with anyone else. And this is the only thing, the only studio time that I'm actually sitting in and, and discussing this. And I appreciate that. Do you have the David Hahn Schmidt audio? Yes, I do. Okay. I've actually heard it. You've heard the audio. I want to play yeah. it again for audience members okay. that, that haven't heard this thing yet. And again, this is what's been told to us. This is what we, and when I say we, the, the, the public, this is the story we're getting, is that a sex tape was shot by Dustin Diamond, by uh, Screech, and this was shot when? How long ago? Can you give me a time frame? It was close to four years ago. The sex tape was shot by you. It's pretty obvious that you're in the tape at this point. Originally, you had denied that the tape existed un no. until... Well, I said it, it, it's possible. Yeah, you did, but yeah, right. you did say on the show that it, it could be possible. You had fun. I think you said, quote, you had fun with, with video cameras. Who hasn't? Yeah. This guy, David Hahn Schmidt, who's been behind some of the larger video releases, these you know, the, the surreptitiously uh, recorded videos, uh, this guy has been behind what the the Colin Farrell thing fester. Like the Paris Hilton tape. Uh, this guy's peddled his fair share. This of, uh, seems to be his deal. You've maintained that you are not part of the release of this tape, and obviously this is the first question that I've asked you during our numerous conversations on the phone, and I'll ask you again with me looking you right in the eye. Uh, we have some sources that say that your signature is on a release affidavit where you have released this video to be sold. Absolutely impossible. And they're dancing with a slippery slope there because it'd be very easy to prove. I mean, I've my signature is set in stone. I've been signing my name for 21 years. Right, because what's turned out to be a fairly reputable Hollywood gossip source, and I think you know who I'm talking about, that they, they claim that they've seen the actual affidavit where you've signed the release on the videotape. Which, if that's the case, that would suggest that you are a party to this. And if and if they provide that and I prove in court that it's not, that would be slander. I'm reporting on stuff that they've told me, and it, they haven't reported on this yet. Well, there's rumors all over the, the, the Internet. All right, roll the audio quickly. This is this David Hahn Schmidt who is apparently... A smut peddler out of Phoenix. He, he's the, the best-known uh, private video or uh, sex video... Uh, seller. He said smut peddler in a really nice way right there. And marketer. Roll the video here. Hit it. A couple of Midwestern girls uh, gave him a name for their performance. Yes. It was shot. I, I won't identify the exact city because I don't, I don't want uh, a rage against the town. But... All right, stop for a second. He describes it, and we'll roll the rest of this thing here, as Middle America Midwest. It was shot in the heart of the Midwest. This was shot in the heartland of the Midwest. Uh, it was shot in the yeah, why would why would people want yeah. someone's private affairs in their personal library? He says Midwest, Middle America. Why can't you tell me? Well, this that's what he you, says. He wasn't I, he wasn't there. I, do you remember where it was shot? I, I wouldn't reveal anything more but, than but, it needs to but be. But do do you remember where the videotape was made? Do you remember what city? Even if you're not going to tell, tell me. Say the truth now. You don't remember where it was. It's four years ago. I mean, I'm on the road 47 weeks out of the year. Sure. And, and mind you, this was something that was a long time ago. This is done and done. And this is something that it was stupid that, you know, I, like I said before on the air, we, you know, a group of friends and I uh, got together and we thought it would be fun to have, you know. And this uh, is that celebrity sex club you were talking about where you guys are. A club of people that I know that we got together and, uh, and we thought it would be hilarious to do video exploits and assign a point system to it like uh, poker. All right. And then once again, Dustin, you've promised you have nothing to do with this video release. You're not Dude, part... I can't keep saying the same thing over and over again. I've said it more oh, than yes, once. Oh, yes, you and, can? And that's, that's that.